But let us fast forward to the next, the first part of today's meeting, the project speaker. Today's project speaker is giving a speech. And for her speech, she was thinking of the question, does being different is the same as fitting in? Does a bent fork is useful? Allow Mimpo, our distinguished Toastmaster Mimpo, to share her experience in her speech titled The Only One on her experience her how to fit in by being a, a little bit different than others. Distinguished Toastmaster Mimpo, the only one, the only one Mimpo, take it away. How many of you think that in order to be fitted in, you have to be common like any other people's? How many of you think of that? Please raise your hand or even give me a thumbs up. Yes, I can see Alif, raise your hand. And I will say that I always think that certain profession have carried out certain characteristic and behavior. And yet, have to be in a certain department as well. That's where I always thought that I have to be the one that have to blend in in order to be fitted in in any situation. Yet, in fact, two incidents has made me think twice that whether being fitted in in a certain department or certain situation has to be the one that have to be generally and also commonly well known. The first incident, I was a number person in a department that also full with numbers as well. Yes, correct, finance department. Subsequently, my head of department has assigned me now into a new department. And this department, in fact, is full of sales people. Yes, correct. You are not here, sales people. Imagine that situation. I was feeling the one that not fitting in at all. I'm the only one who is reserved, observed, and respond, whereas all the salespeople are really like a hunter. So I'm a rabbit in a full of jungle, full of hunter, not knowing no, what am I supposed to do in that division. So I was wondering, what's my purpose in that? I just only can see I'm supporting at a bad end. Oh, you said I also have to change myself to become a hunter. Hunt for the sales. But that's not me. Can I be the unique person in that? So I asked my head of department, the purpose for me being in that department. And she gave me a very good answer and allowed me to think my purpose in that department. My head of the department mentioned to me, do you know that Hunter just really like to go charge forward without thinking everything? So your role in that is to really be a breaker or even to be the support or strategist to help them to hunt for the right market. So, Despite you are the only one, like a number crutches, but you can use your number to tell the fact so that the salesperson can hunt a, can have a better strategy and hunt for a better market. From that onwards, yes, I get it. Despite the only one, I still can be useful in that department. 
So that is the first incidence. And the second incidence comes from my previous department too. And again, I'm also the number person. And yet, I'm not a technical person. I was in a product department. Again, the only one. When am I here? I asked myself. So my then head of department also gave me some guidance on the reason that she wants me to be here. She mentioned that she really wants to know that how all the product has been developed with a very profitable or not. So that search and development for the product, we can continue to develop a useful product without going bust. So now I understand that, yes, number is important. I'm also the only one again, and yet I can repurpose myself and to be and being fitted in inside all department. So ladies and gentlemen, us bring our own background, experience and upbringing to our life. Yet we do not need to necessarily be common and be general in order to fit in. Of us unique in our own way. And Oh, as we are, have one goal, to, we can contribute to a better tomorrow. So ladies and gentlemen, you can still be a unit, yet being fitting in. Over to you, Coastmaster of the day. Thank you, Minpu, for sharing.